Hi, welcome to the homework for Lesson 36. It's Grade 1, Module 1. Get your name on there first. And we're making a math drawing. You have to have the math drawing and solve the number sentences. It says use the first number sentence to help you write a related number sentence that matches your picture. So this is for, you don't have to draw this box, don't draw it, but I just want to show you this is going to be where we're going to write our answer for one. So our math drawing is going to go in this space right here. Make a math drawing for 10 minus 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5. <laughs> uh, my pen won't write. Five, you need to color it in. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and two are crossed out. That's these two here. And how many are left? It's a five, six, seven, eight. Eight are left. And so our related subtraction sentence is going to, we're still going to start with 10. If we can have 10, and we can break it into parts of 2 and 8, right? So if we have 2 crossed out, we'll have 8 left. But if we start with 10 and we cross out 8, we also know we're going to have 2 left. That's the, so that's the related subtraction number sentence. There are also related addition number sentences you can write with the same three numbers. So now you have an idea of what everything is going to look like. You might want to try the next two on your own and then just watch and check to see if you got them. You can pause the video and then do them and then, and then uh, check your answers and watch the video. So here we're going to start with 10 and cross out 1 because that's 10 minus 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and these are shaded so we can see the five groups. And if we cross out 1, you can see we're going to have 9 left because if you know your parts of 10, these are all 10s we're working with here, parts of 10, right? If you, if you know them, these are going to be really easy. And you almost won't even have to draw the pictures, but you still have to draw the pictures. So if we have 10 and we cross out 1, we'll have 9 left. But if we have 10 and we cross out 9, we'll also have 1 left. Ten minus 7, you may already know that's going to be 3. Because 7 and 3 are partners to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Got to have the picture. Got to have it. Okay, there's five. If I cross out seven, that's a five group and two more. Then I have one, two, three left. If I start out with ten and I cross out three, right, if I crossed out these three, then I have the other seven left. Now it says, and we're working with more parts of ten. You'll see that in all down here, it's going to be all parts of 10. So if you know your partners to 10, this is going to go pretty fast for you. If not, then practice them some more. It's really important to know them. You're going to be using them for the rest of your life. You really need to uh, know them. They'll hold you back if you don't. Subtract. Then write the related subtraction sentence. Make a math drawing if needed. Complete the number bond for each. So if you know your parts of 10, you see the 2, you know there has to be an 8. And the related subtraction sentence I'm going to write on this line right here. So that would be, and if you remember from before, right? they gave us the spots for like where to write each number, and they wrote the symbols for us. But now it's a little bit harder. We have to write the whole thing all by ourselves. So we're still starting with 10, but if we subtract 8, then we'll have 2 left. And our number bond is going to be a total of 10 with parts of 2 and 8, or 8 and 2. 
And here if we start with 10, here's a 9. You know there's going to be the other part. If one part is 9, the other part has to be 1. And same here too. If I start with 10, now I'm going to write the other subtraction sentence. If I Here's if I take away 1, I'll have 9 left. But you will also know if I take away 9, I'll only have 1 left. Same three numbers. Really important that you keep in mind the subtraction symbol here, the minus. This number to the left of it is always going to be what you have before you subtract. And the number that comes right after to the right of that subtraction sign, the minus sign, is going to be how much you cross out or how much you take away or how much you're subtracting. And then what you have left, your difference is what it equals. So here's a 6, parts of 10. I know there's a 4 that's missing somewhere. So 10 minus 6 equals 4. And our number of bonds is going to be the total of 10 with parts of 6 and 4. And for number 7, 10 minus, if that's a 1, then I know I have to take away 9 to have 1 left for 10. 10 with parts of 9 and 1. And our related subtraction sentence is going to be 10 minus 1 equals 9. And here we have a little bit backwards. But remember, we're looking at the subtraction symbol first, the minus sign first. That tells us this is what we start with because it's to the left. of That's what we have before we subtract. And this is what we have. That's how much we're going to subtract. And how much is going to be left afterwards? 5 so we have 10 and parts of 5 and 5 and we could rewrite this as 10 minus 5 equals 5 just so it looks a little bit different working from left to right like most of the world uh, lesson 36 homework we're on part 9 this is a lot a lot to do here but we're working with parts of 10, so it's going to go fast, especially if you know them. Complete the number bond, and then match the number bond to the related subtraction sentence. So here's our related subtraction sentence. Oh, we got a whole page of these, so let me zoom out. This is going to be kind of tiny, but you have to look at the whole page at once for this. So, if you're watching this on a phone, the numbers are going to be really tiny. I'm sorry about that. But there's no other way to do it. So we're going to complete the number bonds. 10, 8, and 2 are the parts of 10. And for 10, 7, you should be looking for a 3. And here are parts of 10 again. 6 and 4 is the other partner. 5's partner to 10 is 5, and 9's is 1. So we're looking for a 10 and a 5 there. We're looking for a 10 with a part of 1. So that would be 1 and 9. That's that one. 10, if one of the parts is 2, the other one has to be 8. And 10... If one of the parts is 4, the other has to be 6. And 10 with a part of 3. If we take it apart for 3, then the other part has to be 7. So we'll just finish filling these in. 10 minus 5 is 5. 10 minus 1 is 9. 10 minus 2 is 8. And that's in the number bonds. Your partner's to 10. And then we're just going to write the other related number sentence next to the one here. So this is going to be like 10. The parts of 5 are the same because 5 is a double that makes 10. So it's going to look the same. If we take away the other 5, we'll have the other 5 left. <laughs> it's kind of goofy. It does look the same. But here's 10. If we take away 1, we'll have 9. If we have 10 and we take away the 9 part, we'll still have the 1 left. And here if we have 10 and we take away the 8, we'll have the 2 left. 
and we start with 10 and we subtract 6 we'll have the 4 left and here if we have 10 and we subtract the 7 we'll have 3 left so there's the whole thing now I kind of rushed it a little bit at the end and uh, if you had a hard time keeping up with that uh, sorry but uh, you know it's a video so you can pause it and uh, I'm all done so you can just take a look at it uh, you can pause it in the middle or go back to a part um, where I, I got ahead of you and uh, and and uh, watch it from there